January the 18th, 2020. Guys, there's a lot going on the next few days. You've got uh, Monday coming up with the events in Virginia, and there's new updates on how that's going to be handled. Uh, no guns are going to be allowed downtown in the uh, square area. And uh, there's one way in and a couple of ways out, but everybody will go through a big gun screening, so expect delays according to the report, regardless of, of who's coming in there, whether you're pro-gun or anti-gun. There's going to be big delays because they've got one gate that's going to be open getting into that entire square area. But um, then Tuesday, guys, of course, the uh, Senate takes on the House uh, impeachment uh, trial. But something happened over Puerto Rico that's interesting, guys. We've been watching, and in the last 30 days, Puerto Rico has had 47 earthquakes that were 4.5 or stronger, up into the sixes. We've seen that. And, you know, a lot of this just got to do with uh, location. And the Earth is a spinning globe, and the closer you get to the equator, the uh, more centrifugal force it's involved there. Guys, there's uh, in the oceans a phenomenon called the equatorial bulge. And the ocean is actually about 400 foot higher at its peak in that location simply because just like spinning uh, on a merry-go-round it's trying to throw everything out and off of it that force creates that same thing happens with magma if you think about it we think about all these uh, again 47 earthquakes in the last 30 days 4.5 or stronger but uh, for years now i've never done a video about it i've heard about it uh, there's been prophecies of uh, meteorites or meteors, space rocks or asteroids striking near Puerto Rico or hitting the island. And this year, I guess in the last seven months, there's been two. But again, I, I haven't really, I've just heard about it. I've never really done a video about that happening. You're looking at radar images now from yesterday morning. But uh, I'd like to hear your input in the comments about information you have about these uh, meteorite or asteroid uh, prophecies. But again, the last six months or seven months, we've had two. Now, this happened yesterday morning, January 17th, and it's radar images as uh, this ro space rock, they're calling it, entered the atmosphere, and the explosion was heard on the ground. Uh, everyone heard it, and it was in broad daylight, and it was a big fireball. At first, they thought a plane had exploded, but then they realized it was moving too fast. And then reports came in after that explosion of splashdown in the waters off of Puerto Rico. It says um, the on January 17th, the islanders felt the jolt. But this one came from the sky amidst the earthquake swarm that we are currently experiencing here in Puerto Rico. We were also nearly impacted by a giant rock from space, reports Frankie. Luciano of Cabo Rojo PR. The explosion is shown in this weather satellite image from GO-16. Now, at the top, again, this was yesterday's morning. Uh, it's really the point of entry to where they explode as a, the friction builds up entering the atmosphere. And the one in June during hurricane season, right in Hurricane Alley, June 22nd, was larger. Now, they... Um, I don't. I did not get any reports back in June of uh, splashdown sighting, but on the one yesterday we did. I think it's interesting because, again, I think it has to do with the location on Earth as much as anything else. But it it would be interesting because I'm sure there's some of you guys that know quite a bit of, about this prophecy, and we have seen two events now, again from June to January, but uh, the one on the bottom looks larger. But I'm doing this kind of as a heads up, but I want to uh, look at all the information that's coming in about it. Now, Eddie Irizarry, a Puerto Rico astronomy pr professor and vice president of the Caribbean Astronomy Society, said the meteor was visible across Puerto Rico in broad daylight. He said he got reports from all corners of the island. That makes it into quite a rare event, he said in the phone interview. So the meteor was visible for up to 10 seconds and that he suspects it was at least a couple of feet in length given reports of it left a smoke trail. People on social media reported seeing the meteor hit just off the coast of the capital of San Juan. 
The reports could not be immediately verified. We possibly will get some video on this. Meanwhile, officials at Puerto Rico's main international airport said they captured the event on camera, but flight operations were not uh, interrupted. The event scared many in the U.S. territory that is experiencing strong daily aftershocks following a 6.4 earthquake on January the 7th that killed one person and caused an estimated $200 million in damage along the island's south coast. Now, uh, earlier in the week, Trump released a lot of money going to aid to that area, so you guys keep your heads up. Palo Noriego, a, a chef, said he saw the, she saw the fireball while standing outside in San Juan. With all this trauma we have had it we've had as a result of the earthquakes, one could think it's something catastrophic. Her father, the appraiser Juan Noriego, uh, watched the spectacle with her. All of a sudden, I see a giant ball going across the sky, he said. It was orange in color and coming in like a jet throwing off fumes. Imagine that guys uh, with uh, again your your island's been shaken with these quakes, two hundred million in damage. Uh, lives have been lost. A lot of people were hurt. You know, we saw images in a video with buildings collapsed. So they, again, help is coming that way, but uh, you it makes you uh, really start paying attention. But again, I want to hear uh, any reports that you guys have had and any d updates on the uh, reported prophecy of uh, a Puerto Rican uh Space rock strike is kind of what they're calling this. It's a heads up, guys. Be safe.